chair lays out HB 5007 and recognizes Representative Plesa to explain her bill. Thank you so much, Chairman Bojani, Representative Bowers, and Representative Cook for giving me the opportunity to lay out House Bill 5007 for you. House, House Bill 5007 is a good governance and judicial efficiency bill. Texans have the right to seek an expunction under a couple of circumstances, including when they have been acquitted of an alleged crime. Currently, 10% of all criminal trials end in acquittal. Acquitted Texans have to submit a petition for expunction, undergo an arduous and costly process to have their records clean. Texans have to inc uh, incur court costs and fees and the cost of legal counsel to pursue, pursue an expunction. This is in addition to the court costs and attorney fees already incurred to defend against the underlying offense. Members, we have a presumption of innocence under our Constitution, and once someone has gone to great lengths to prove their innocence in court and have been acquitted, all of our government records should reflect that innocence. Texans may be acquitted, but continue to um, ensure hardships, finding housing and employment due to their arrest records associated with crimes for which they have been acquitted and found not guilty. House Bill 5007 allows for efficiency within our judicial system and relieves the acquitted parties of the burden to pursue the exemption and instead requires the court presiding over the cases to enter an order of expunction within 30 days of the acquittal. This will conserve our judicial economy, relieve innocent Texans of, the incurring, of incurring more costs and stress to maintain their good name, and will prevent additional hardships arising from a false allegation. Many counties hold expunction expos. In Collin County, we expunged over, expunged over 100 records in 2022. Members, this bill is a common sense, workable solution for our state. While the members of this subcommittee and myself represent suburban districts, I have considered the effects and feasibilities of implementing this pr uh, program in rural areas, and I believe that House Bill 5007 is a policy solution that can be implemented across our state without any fiscal impact. Members, I ask for your favorable favorable consideration, and I reserve my right to close. Thank you, Representative Place. Uh, members, do we have any questions? Uh, thank you so much. We'll proceed to testimony. Chair calls Maggie Luna. She's not here. No, okay. All right. So we'll show the record that she's not testifying. Chair calls Sarah May Jennings. Thank you for being here. I just want to clarify the record. You're Sarah May Jennings testifying on behalf of yourself and Texas Fair Defense Project for HB 5007. That's correct. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, my name is Sarah May Jennings. I'm the interim co executive director and policy director at the Texas Fair Defense Project. We're a nonprofit organization that fights the criminalization of poverty in Texas. And I'm here today to express very strong support for House Bill 5007, which will actually automate expunctions of criminal records after an individual is acquitted at trial. In a petition-based record clearing system like Texas's, only 6.5% of eligible records are successfully cleared. Criminal record clearing is complicated, costly, and time-consuming. Seeking criminal record clearing relief is difficult for an attorney and nearly impossible for a non-lawyer. No form of criminal record clearing in Texas is fully automated at this time. Most all criminal record clearing relief uh, requires the accused to petition for that relief and there's no right to counsel for criminal record clearing, leaving this relief inaccessible for indigent Texans. Just this past month, someone contacted, contacted our office asking for help obtaining an expunction following his acquittal at trial. I told the person that they should speak to their trial attorney about getting their expunction done quickly, knowing that the special provisions for expunctions following an acquittal under 55.01A1A, namely the waiver of the $250 to $350 filing fee, are only good for 30 days. The applicant told me he had asked his attorney and the attorney was asking him for another $1,500 to handle that expunction following the acquittal. $1,500 that he could not afford. Typically, a single expunction or non-disclosure ta case takes one of our trained staff attorneys about four hours, but sometimes much more. Pro bono record clearing services across the state are limited, especially in rural areas. Pro bono record clearing services uh, excuse me, at TFTP, we help as many individuals as we can, but there will always be more Texans in need of this assistance than we and the other pro bono resources in the state are able to help. Expunctions are a tool to eradicate the barriers to employment, housing, public benefits, and more that criminal records create. I urge you to support this bill to ensure that Texans who have been found not guilty at trial can move on with their lives without a record following their acquittal. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Jennings. Happy to answer any questions. Members, any questions? 
my survivors. Thank you, Chairman Bajani. Um, so I'm just wondering, I thought I heard you say an additional $1,500. And so what uh, normally is the cost for an expunction, expunction about? Um, so I think that's the going rate for private attorneys. As I said, I'm a nonprofit, so we don't charge our clients who are under 200% of federal poverty guidelines. Mm -hmm. um, in my experience as an attorney, the filing fees range between $250 to $350. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to seek that relief without the assistance of counsel. And then, as you said, that that attorney, uh, in that case, uh, required an additional 1500 on top of that. And then I guess, you know, when you talk about the complications of the process, mm -hmm. what can some of those twists and turns? Sure. How much time do we have? <laughs> um, Just so one example. The okay. law around expunctions and non-disclosures is incredibly complex. Mm -hmm. um, this piece of legislation is seeking to address a pretty simple avenue to expunction. It's if you're acquitted following trial, you're expunction eligible. So there's not much um, play there. Although I will say, um, my colleague brought up earlier today that in the occasion that there are multiple incidents within a single arrest, multiple different events that could give rise to potential complications, even within the acquittal. Um, but between the way law, the law is written and the way the law has been interpreted through the courts, it is um, quite messy. <laughs> Well, that does answer it. And I mean, I, I just, you know, wanted to know what that typically might look like. But. Yeah, so I'll just add that um, in the petition, the person's being asked to give all of their biographical information that's in, they're invited to provide under the statute. Mm -hmm. They're having to say what part of the law allows them to petition for the relief. So give the legal provision that says, mm -hmm. you know, this is why this piece is eligible. And they're having to list out every agency that might have the records that they're seeking to expunge or seal, because all of those agencies will have to then be notified of sealing or expunging these records if the order is granted. Um, so those are the three big pieces of just assembling that petition that comes after deciding you're eligible and before even going to the, the court to petition and having a hearing and all that. So. Thank you. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank, thank you. you, Ms. Jennings. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Is there anyone else who wishes to testify on, for, or against HB 5007? If not, the chair recognizes Representative Plesa to close on her bill. Thank you, Chairman and members. 11 other states that has implemented the automatic expunction change, including Florida, Georgia, Maine, and Montana. I hope I can count on your support and favorable consideration, and I hope you will share your support with the members of the full committee on criminal jurisprudence. I'm happy to answer any questions, and with that, I close. Thank you, Representative Place. Members, any questions? I, thank you very much. Thank you. If there's no objection, the bill, the bill will be left pending. Is there objection? The chair hears none. HB 5007 is left pending.